morning, guys! Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of all right, guys, we're gonna get to the main news here in just a little bit, uh, but I wanna take a second to talk with you about something really important to me. If you wanna skip ahead, you feel free, but I would like it if you take a couple seconds to listen to what I have to say. So a friend of mine, Joe, uh, just got out of major surgery. Actually, it was the friend that I talked about a couple days ago, one of the reasons why my videos was late is I went up to Denver to visit her while she was in the hospital. Joe has had a pretty rough go of it the last, uh, well, I mean, not even just the last couple weeks, but over the last year and a half. Had an amputation done on her leg uh, because of some really bad stuff that happened to her. And and the amputation didn't really work. Uh, they had to do a second amputation, take even more off of her leg. And uh, it's been it's been a pretty rough go. Her and her husband, Brian, have become super great friends of mine over the past couple months. And, uh, and honestly, it's really hard for me to see them go through the crap that they've been going through. So if you guys don't know, uh, Joe actually has a YouTube channel called Footless Joe, of all things. And it kind of goes over her journey as being a brand new amputee and all the crazy stuff that sort of has happened to her as a result. She's at 99,000. 500 subscribers right now and has been trying to get to the 100,000 subscriber mark for a little while now as she's recovering at home from this second surgery and hope, hope to God it works now. I wanted to do something special for her and so I wanted to ask you guys if you could to go over to her channel and subscribe. Give her something to be super happy about today. Uh, go over, subscribe to her channel. Uh, she, it, it would take you guys literally like two seconds to go over. Uh, we've done it for a lot of automotive channels. The, the reason why I ask you to do this is not, you know, she doesn't have any car content, although I think maybe she can drive my McLaren at some point. She doesn't have any car content, but she is the reason why my channel exists in the way that it does right now. Her work ethic, uh, her putting out videos every day, challenged me to do the same thing for my channel. So if you've ever enjoyed one of my videos over the past six, seven months, you have her to thank in a big way. So let's go over to her channel. I'll put a link in the top of the description below. Let's go to Footless Joe's channel, subscribe to her channel. Let's push her over 100,000 subscribers right now. I think it would be such an incredible gift to help someone that really helped me design my own channel to get her over that, uh, that six figure mark. So thank you guys. Thank you for listening to me for a little bit. I really appreciate your time. I know this is not car related, but I almost never make personal asks here and you guys have been so good to me. I'm hoping we can throw some of that generosity toward a friend in need, I think. So thank you guys very much. All right, into our main story. Whew. Okay, I gotta, gotta switch gears here for a little bit. Whew. All right, I think we're good. I think we're back to normal here. Sorry, it gets I get a little emotional sometimes. All right, guys, so let's talk about the major news for today, which is uh, Daily Driven Exotics. Damon has decided to start a brand new YouTube channel. Yes, you heard right, uh, a brand new YouTube channel. Uh, his return to Daily Driven Exotics after the craziness that occurred at Monterey Car Week is going to be sort of emphatically pointed by a, a new channel that's going to focus on a lot of numerous things that I guess really aren't really featured currently on the DDE channel. So Damon actually took to Instagram this morning to explain kind of why he's creating a new channel, what the channel is going to be about, and basically like line up what he was going to be doing with this brand new endeavor of his. Here's the video. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm here with Wifey. This marks the second week straight I've been coming to the gym every single day. When I started DDE, I full time three years ago, I basically sacrificed my personal time for my health to really build that business. And uh, well, I paid the price. I got chubby and fat and I was unhappy with that. And then the last couple of weeks taking some time off for myself and to be with my family, I've decided to come back, put in the time at the gym, start a new journey. Really excited about it because we'll be sharing it with you guys. Got some big exciting announcements. Gonna be starting a whole nother brand around fitness, my lifestyle, my family all the other things I enjoy doing, action sports, snowboarding, so, and more, travel. Stay tuned for that if you guys like watching the crazy videos we do on Daily Driven Exotics, those are definitely gonna kick. So there you have it guys, we have Damon coming back both to Daily Driven Exotics and creating his own personal brand and channel that focuses on family and lifestyle and traveling and sports and fitness and all that kind of stuff. All the stuff that wouldn't really have a good place in the DDE brand currently. So what do you guys think below? Let me know what you think about the brand new channel for Damon and uh, whether you'll be subscribing. We'll have a link in the description below. If you wanna see more of Damon, if you're excited to have him back on Daily Driven Exotics, let me know what you think of this brand new and 
endeavor for the DDE team. And a real quick note, guys, on this sort of uh, separate channel here. Would you like to also see a separate channel from Dave, maybe? A sort of a lifestyle thing from Dave? Now, I don't know if they have anything like that planned currently, uh, but I feel like with Damon's move to create his own personal brand, maybe we'll see something similar to Dave at some point. How would you feel about a Dave personal channel where he talks about all the things that wouldn't necessarily fit into the DDE brand, too? Let me know in the comments about that, too. I'd love to know. Next on our list is actually Donut Media with a phenomenal video on the uh, the Mark IV uh, Toyota Supra. Definitely go check this one out, guys. He talks about how it's sort of too fast for the quarter mile, needs bigger half mile trips to go. Done in typical Donut Media fashion, high production value, great humor. If you're not following Donut Media, you're completely missing out on the best that sort of uh, car info has to be. It's a great channel. I watch it every day. Next on our list, yes, another Shmi video, but this time it's with the new Lamborghini Sian. I hope I said that right. It's not Sian, I think it's Sian. Go check it out, guys. This is the brand new future of Lamborghini, the V12 hybrid. Uh, Shmi does a fantastic job of covering the car within minutes of seeing it for the first time. There's nobody that does hypercar and supercar reviews like Shmi. If you're not following him, you're missing out on basically every major automotive event that happens worldwide. He is the best at what he does. Next video we actually have is from Savage Garage. Yes, recently over 100,000 subscribers and continuing down the line with great content. Uh, has a pretty interesting video about a Dodge Viper ACR that apparently had a really weird defect in the defrost that caused the back window to completely shatter. Apparently this is pretty well known. I don't have a Dodge Viper ACR so I couldn't tell you about the defrost button, but apparently somebody like flicked the switch of the defrost button and it exploded the back window because it shorted. Uh, a really, really weird video. Very cool, very informative and done in the Savage Garage fashion. Uh, great editing, great cinematography and just a lot of fun. Check it out. Next we have a Sheepy Race, guys. Yes, I'm finally saying Sheepy Race and not Sheepy Racing because I haven't screwed it up that bad yet. Sheepy Race, great vlog out recently and as you guys know, it's always a treat when Sheepy Race releases a new vlog, super laid back style, very just sort of shop-ish. I don't even know what else to call it. It's like shop work at its absolute finest, the, the behind the scenes of all the favorite stuff that you see on your favorite supercar channels. Go check it out, Lamborghini Performante reactions after they've done some crazy stuff to it. It's a great video, you'll enjoy it. And last on our list is kind of a weird one. So we have a VinWiki episode. Let me preface this by saying that VinWiki has some of the best content period on car stories, but every once in a while they'll get a video that is sort of contentious within the VinWiki Wiki community. Um, they had something like that uh, basically today on Hyperdrive's open door policy. If you guys have been watching Hyperdrive, you probably know what I'm talking about. A particular contestant using the, the fullest extent of the rules as possible to, uh, I guess, get the job done. But you'll want to check this out, guys, not just for the video, but for the conversation that happens underneath the video in the comments section. It's very interesting. Uh, very, I don't, I don't want to say it's un -Vin wiki like because they've had these videos before, uh, but whenever VinWiki gets a contentious video, it's always a, an interesting source of conversation. Make sure to go check it out. I very much enjoy VinWiki and even the contentious stuff I enjoy too. So go check it out guys and make the decision for yourselves. That's all I've got for you today guys except uh, to tell you that my, my garage is now painted. It's uh, it's on the way to becoming sort of a beautiful garage. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys the progress. We're, we're kind of in the process of getting everything uh, up and ready and getting new LED lights now as the next part to display my cars in a, in a beautiful way. Uh, so thanks for waiting on that guys. It's going to take a little bit longer than I hope for. The electrical guy that was supposed to come and do the LED lights did not come yesterday the way he was supposed to so I've been pushed back a little bit but anyway thank you guys so much for watching today thank you for uh, subscribing to Footless Joe if you did I really appreciate that it means a lot to me and I'm sure it'll mean a lot to her too and uh, have a great day have a great uh, well it's Tuesday today have a great Tuesday and we'll catch you guys later bye